Good morning children. Let's start the roots. Look at this diagram. Bujo and Paheli both are watering the plants. What do you think? Bujo and Paheli, are they watering the plant correctly? Or is there anyone who is not watering the plant properly? So Paheli is watering the plant from its roots and Bujo is watering the plants by its leaves. So do you think you can water the leaves and the water will go to the roots? No, of course not. So water has to be given to the roots because water is absorbed by the roots. <laughs> Which part of the plant is in the soil? Let us learn more about this part from the following activities. So, today we are going to learn about the roots. We water the soil so that water is being absorbed, should be absorbed by the roots from the soil. Okay, let's start activity number 6. For activity number 6, you would require two pots, <clears throat> some soil, khurpi for digging, blade or a pair of scissors and water. This activity is to be done in groups of 4 and 5, 4 to 5 students. Now since here we don't have students, you are going to do it alone. Select two plants of the same kind from an open ground and dig them out with the roots. Take care that their roots do not break. Plant one of them in pot A. Cut off the roots from the other plant okay and plant it in pot B water regularly observe the plants for a week are both plants healthy look at this diagram children so here there is one plant with all the roots intact yeah and there is one plant whose roots are not there. So here, no root. Now we have watered. Every day you are watering the plant. Okay. You are putting water in the plant every day. Here also, you are giving water to the plant. So, after a week, you have to observe the plants. What happened to the plants? Both the plants are watered regularly, but one is without roots, isn't it? Does this activity help you to understand an important function of the roots? So children, the plant which do not have roots will not absorb the water, isn't it? Then slowly that plant starts wilting this plant start drooping it will start drooping no so the plant which has roots they absorb nicely water and it remains straight erect and this droops down so Water is absorbed only through the roots. If it has the roots, it will stand erect. It will be healthy. And the one which do not have roots will not be healthy. Why? Because minerals and water is not getting absorbed from the roots. And how will the leaves prepare their food in absence of minerals and water so they don't eat food and if you don't eat food you become very very 
weak hence this plant becomes weak and gradually it may die also but the other root or the plant grows nicely nice and healthy let us do an activity to study the function of root activity number 7 we would require seeds of gram and maize cotton wool katori a bowl and some water now this is interesting this you have to perform in um, at your home take two katoris or two bowls place some cotton in them okay wet cotton in them you have to make, take it and you have to spread the cotton it has to be wet cotton put 3 four seeds of gram in one and maize in the other maize is bhutta gram is chana keep the cotton wet by sprinkling water every day until the sprouts have grown into the young plants after a week try to separate the young plants from the cotton now look at this you can see it is kept on the cotton this is the cotton yeah this is cotton so you can see it sprouted and then the root and the shoot the plumule and the radical they started growing and when you try to take out the seeds you will find it difficult why we'll see that <clears throat> was it easy to separate the cotton from the roots why children when you try to take out the seeds from the cotton the root holds the holds the cotton very very firmly exactly the way roots hold the soil and makes the plant firm on the ground okay so it started it was just beginning to grow the roots have just began but still the roots are holding there was just one single radical still the roots are holding the cotton and you find little difficult to take it off it's not very easily taken off but it is little difficult for you to take it off that activity you can do and you can experience yourself in activity number 6 we could not pull out the plants from the soil right we dug them out this is because roots help in what does the root help in root helps in underline holding the plants firmly holding the plants firmly to the soil they anchor the plants to the soil okay they hold the plants formally to the soil you have been seen that there are different kinds of stems and leaves do the roots also show a variety let us find out so children now we studied that what is the function of the roots through the activity that root absorbs waters and minerals and hence plants are able to prepare their food with the help of leaves of course leaves are going to prepare and next in this other activity we saw that uh, how roots hold the ground in the form of uh, we saw that here the, in the in in place of ground we took the cotton so how it holds it how the roots hold it tightly and makes the plant firm on the ground okay so now in the other uh, in the next video we are going to see the different types of roots